can you be successful in IT with neither, with no certification or no degree, like the, the true accidental IT pro that they just happen to be at a smaller company that just boom, they're, they just get it. They have the, you know, the technical aptitude to just get it and then they're off and running. What do you guys think? Um, well, what I was going to say with that um, specifically is, I mean, yeah, you could fall into it. I mean, I could just, you know, I could be a great mechanic maybe if I, you know, sat in my garage trying to figure out how right. to take my car apart. But, you know, when your time at that particular uh, job may run out, well, now when you go searching for a job, it's going to be kind of difficult to explain your knowledge and credibility if you don't have anything to show on paper. You know? Right. So do you think it would be fair to turn somebody down for lack of a degree or lack of a certification? To a point, no. You kind of just want to... If they don't have a degree or certification, at least see what they know. If they can show you and prove that they know what they're talking about, it's worth a shot. Yeah, yeah. Again, and it's just that's more for it's it's difficult to prove what you know until you show them what you know. You don't know what you don't know, kind of thing. So, uh, so say somebody is kind of like has a really good aptitude for technology, but they haven't done anything. What would you, what would you recommend the first step be to get on the path? Yeah, well, the righteous path. The, the, the first step, I think, would definitely be to, um, to, to set up a home lab. That's one of the best things you can do. Um, you know, if you're into networking, go on eBay, buy some, you know, use Cisco gear. If you're into, you know, virtualization or Microsoft, um, you know, you can get a commodity machine now with, you know, up to like 32 gigs of RAM and quad core processor, and you can run multiple VMs on that. And right. that's kind of the best way to start. Uh, because then you can kind of tinker in an environment where you know you're not going to uh, cause a resume generating event, you know, messing around with production servers at your workplace. Right. Um, and from there, you could go ahead and start to study and use that lab material in your own home lab. And we've never done that. We've never yet done pro testing on a production environment ever. Of course not. Ever. And we can't edit this. That's live, so it's true. Okay. I've okay. never done it yet. Yeah. <laughs> we've never Once done or it, twice. though. No.